key to controlling this process, breaking this process down, is the VHS debris roll screens. The debris roll screens are based on our patented tri-disc technology. The uh, triangular disc shape has been a very remarkable performer for us over the years. So we will have uh, screening technology set very close to the front end of the facility. One of the first functions we perform is getting out the small fraction as soon as possible. The small fraction typically being organics, grit, dirt, those kinds of things. And getting that isolated so we can handle it and process it separately and then it's not negatively impacting everything else downstream. Uh, this disc is very scalable and performs very well. The key to the design is, is it inherently agitates the material. It's a very significant asset in the screening process to increase tons per hour per square foot of screen deck. Makes our equipment sizes very competitive and gives us a very high performance for the size machine that we can put in. Secondly, now with the tri-disc and the overlapping configuration that we have, the disc are in line. So material can't drop down into the space between the disc and the opposing shaft. This also has now given us a screen that has a very accurate opening. Rather than a, a scalping screen, which has a nominal opening of two to four inches, depending on how the material falls into the screening space, the, this screen creates a rectangular opening. Uh, it's the same opening throughout. It doesn't change. And now the disc screen has become a sizing device as opposed to just a general scalping device. We take the uh, advantages of the disc screen into the MSW process. Flat material, we call it 2D material, is being moved up the screen. Um, the 3D materials, typically containers, aluminum cans, those kinds of things are rolling back down the screen. The next thing that our tri-disc does for us is, is it separates by impact. Uh, because of the tri-disc shape, it's actually like a lot of little hammers spinning around in there. And the hammers will strike, say, a flat PET bottle and will pop it up in the air and start it spinning. Once we get it popped up in the air and it's spinning, it takes on a 3D nature and can tumble back down the stream and go where we want it to go as opposed to being captured in the fiber stream and be simply carried up the screen. And that's, uh, that's something that only the tri-disc is capable of doing. The adjustability of our screens comes into play. There's a high degree of flexibility in our control systems these days. You can uh, change the angles from the control panel, change the speeds from the control panel. So, uh, we're making the screens as user-friendly as possible and as flexible as possible. So as the character of the material stream changes, say from season to season, uh, you can make adjustments on the fly and still maintain a uh, high level of efficiency. Uh, you could almost say that our polishing screen disc is non-wrapping. Uh, it's that far removed from what the other disc can do and the performance that you see. That has given us the ability to manage this high volume of film plastic that you find in an MSW stream. And without that capability, uh, this process becomes much more difficult, much more complex, and really much more expensive. 